101 answers to the question, how to keep the youngsters entertained for the summer, are given in the current McCalls. The ideas are simple, inexpensive, the kind of things children might dream up for themselves. You know they like to splash in water, so a shower, a garden hose mounted on a tall pole, or a rubber tire cut in half to make a river to float boats in, and an old hose with a few leaks in it is a splashing sport for the children. And even you played store. Yes, sand is grand. Look at these small fry at work. They've got something to dig in. This is the time and the costume when mothers promote mud pie making. If riding's your pleasure, partner, your horse is a barrel. Your train, wooden packing boxes. Your boat, a flat box with ping-pong paddle oars. An outdoor gymnasium of walking boards and boxes is built around a giant sawhorse. Youngsters like to swing on a bucking bronco made from an old pump, or spin on a canvas-seated swing. Gangway for the paper bag party. Mom has packed a surprise lunch for outdoor eating. Sandwich swapping is half the fun. Everybody likes a tree house, including Fido and Tabby. The house is easy for Dad to build, but don't forget to plant the tree. Still more ideas from the current McCalls. An old pillow is a punching bag. An oatmeal box with bells and marbles inside is a pull toy. Jingle bells attached to wrists and ankles provide music and rhythm sticks give you the beat for the homemade band. Water pistols are great party favors for youngsters, providing there's an ocean near. And a fence plus two tired sheets make the perennial playhouse. For little mothers, an orange crate sink gives good training. Another thing for your backyard, a boat. Young imaginations will supply the ocean. Musical washboards played with at least five cymbals create diversion. Entertainment, perhaps? Paper bag puppets are fun, amusing too. Just draw faces on the bags, insert small hands, and secure with rubber bands. Isn't it a lovely way to end a party? Details for creating these and many, many more fun ideas for little children are shown in the current McCalls. Your summer will be happier for reading them. Now let's visit Betty Lou through the magic window. Oh, hi! Welcome to the house of the magic window. Come on in, Domino and I have been waiting for you. 
Well, we've been standing here and I've been adding some more decorations to the tree because, you know, it's so much more fun if you make things and add them gradually, as we've been doing all week, you know, making the decorations. Well, will you look what Domino's doing? And he's been doing this. I've had, I've had to scold him several times today. You remember when we made the, the chain for the tree and we made it out of popcorn and cranberries? Mm-hmm. Well, Domino is very fond of it. Very fond of it. No, no, Domino, you... That's right, you just can lie down and look at the tree. Oh, he thinks the tree is wonderful, don't you, Domino? Yes, yes, and oh, he's been so pleased with the Christmas cards that you've sent him. He thinks that's just wonderful. But, you know what? Speaking of decorations and decorating, Deputy Duck and Dusty said that they were going to decorate today and that we should come and see what they've done. So would you like to go see? Now, I have no idea. They seem to have gotten some pine from somewhere, and I'm not quite sure. I've been a little bit afraid to look at the back of our Christmas tree because, you know, the back of it doesn't show, and that may be where they've gotten the pine. Does it look pretty, though? Isn't that pretty with all the green pine and all of the tinsely sparkle? Mm -hmm. Hi! Deputy! Hi! Hi! How are you? I'm hey, fine. Deputy! How are you? Yes. Look who's here. Betty Lou's here. Oh, oh, oh neat! I think your decorations are beautiful. Gee, just thank you. Beautiful. It looks so <laughs> it looks so pretty over here, so snowy. I just thought I just put on my ear most and everything. Yeah. You make it good, you know. Yeah. Well, you've been working so. Oh, we've been working so awful hard. We've been just running back and forth and getting things put up and everything. Well, it looks beautiful, and I think your pink tree is just lovely. Isn't that the sweetest? I'm glad you liked it. Oh, but my. I have one question. What? Where did you get the pine? Did we tell her? Yes. Just a minute. I can't listen. You don't be mad now. I won't be mad. Well, we went outside, and, and the big tree, you know, out in the front lawn? Uh-huh. Well, we just took the end. <laughs> just the, just a little bit I, of ends. You know what I thought you'd done? What? In a way, I'm rather relieved to hear that it came from outside, because I thought maybe, you know, with the back of the Christmas tree not showing very much, that you might have just snipped off a few pieces. Oh, no. Here. Oh, no. We just, just a little bit of end. Oh, well, yeah. I think really? that's And fine. we wouldn't take it off the Christmas tree. No. After all, that's a pretty Christmas tree we've got. Well, certainly it is. And you know what? I'll bet that big pine tree out in front doesn't even miss these little pieces of pine, and it gets to be part of Christmas. So I think well, that's very I, special. I asked him. I said, Mr. Tree, could we have a little piece? Then I dusty. him. That's right. And he just kind of stood there and just kind of let the <laughs> wind blow through him, you know. Didn't say a word. Nope. Didn't even care. He was, was very congenial, I thought, yeah. you know. Very we just took like. just little pieces there, yeah. just, just little pieces. Oh, well, I think that's fine. But where, where did you get the pink tree? Well, that's some spray stuff. Yes. Did you see what they it's made the tree out of? Absolutely ours. They made it out of a great right. big pine cone. And it's beautiful. Just And it's, beautiful. it's just our size. Well, it is. It just sort of fits into, into, the, into yes. the room. Oh, my, isn't it lovely, you know? Sometimes when Christmas comes around, I see all these colors and, and all these pine trees and everything. I could just absolutely do it. Well, don't. <laughs> what a shame it would be if you died and missed Christmas. Bay Lou? Yes? Do you like our light-colored background here better than our uh, black-colored background? Well, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I was looking at that before. I think that's quite lovely. But do you know what I think you need? What? A wreath. A wreath, a wreath. right in the center. I think that would add a lot. I really do. What could we use for a wreath? Gee. Well, why don't you go get some more pine? I'm absolutely... Wait a minute. I'll run out and get something. I'll be right back. Don't go away. I'll be back in a minute. All right. I was, I don't was you thinking, think a pine would be nice? you know, maybe, maybe the white snow, we'll just take up a little way, would uh, show up better, see, or the black, does it? Well. Our Christmas tree kind of does, doesn't it? It shows up a little bit better, but, you know, I kind of like it with the white. For some reason, it, it looks Christmassy to me. It does, in a way. I, I, I'll lower away up there. Okay, good. That is better. I don't like that. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, 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 oh. Did you find really it? Really now. Oh, oh, honestly. <laughs> oh, oh, really now. Oh. Well, let me help you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, you're no you're ruining your decorations. Oh, oh, oh. Just ruining them. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. Isn't this any good? That Dusty. Boy. Well, it, it's very nice, Dusty, and, and really it was quite nice of you to go out and get it, but this is not pine. These are weeds. Oh, so big, oh. honestly. Oh, you'll have to excuse me. I hear someone at the door. Let's I'll see if I can find, find something. All right, fine. Okay. You know what? I'll bet that's Earl Ron, because, you know, on Fridays he always comes to talk to us and tell us about animals. Well, let's see. Hi. I was just saying that I thought it was Earl Ron with all about animals. Well, I mean. interesting it. bundles? Yes, I think so, anyway. You know, one nice thing about Earl, he comes in with packages, but they're, <laughs> they're not wrapped like Christmas presents, so you can tell right away what they are. Can I take your coat? Sure. Right. Thank I'll you. I'll put it right over here. I'll get this stuff out here. Got quite a few things here today. What are you 
they be talking about? Well, you know, we've been talking about how some of these uh, different animals and insects go through the winter. Mm -hmm. And, and I got to thinking, things. yes, the way they hibernate or sleep or, or whatever they do during the winter months. And, uh, you know, the bat is, uh, is one that, that hibernates. Uh, and uh, it's, it's uh, a very interesting thing, too. It's, uh, I didn't know that birds hibernated. Well, it's not a bird. A bat is not a, a bat bird. A bat isn't no. a bird? No, it flies, but it's an animal. It uh, is? Yes, it's, uh, it's just, uh, well, much, it hibernates much like the bears. And uh, it is an animal rather than a bird. It has fur on it, and it gives birth to live young, you know, instead, of, instead of laying eggs. Well, I always thought that, it, uh, that a bat was a bird, that's oh. all. No, just uh, because it flies. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I was just misled about it. No, you see, they, uh, they are, are definitely an animals, mm -hmm. and they're warm-blooded. Uh, incidentally, I've got a picture here that shows um, a bunch of bats hibernating in the winter. Oh, can I hold it for now you? Now, that's, that's a cave. Can you imagine? And there's, uh, well, just hundreds of bats on the cave ceiling, as you can see. Are they hanging upside clusters. down? Yes, they really are. They, uh, they hang themselves upside down and fold their front feet and, and just go to sleep. Can you imagine spending the winter hanging upside down from the ceiling of a cave? Well, I can't imagine it, uh, except that uh, the bats do it. And uh, interestingly enough, they spend practically all of their time when they sleep even during the summer months, and they sleep during the daylight hours in the summer, uh, they hang upside down to sleep. Isn't I don't know uh, why, except that their hind feet are better made to, uh, to hang upside down. Now, these, these bats, uh, they go into caves primarily to hibernate, but you know, a lady out here in the west part of town uh, this fall called up. She said a bat had come into her house. And so we went out to this house to uh, catch the bat, and sure enough, she had an, a bat hanging and in the And he in is the hanging upside mm -hmm. down. Yes, sir. Uh, he's uh, hanging from the corner of the stair hall, uh, the upper where the ceiling and the wall meet, you see. Well, now, there he doesn't look like a bird at all, does he? No, he, the way he's all folded up, uh, his wings are folded <laughs> up, the, uh, he looks uh, very much like the animal that he is. A lot of people think that bats are, are uh, mice with wings, but they really don't even belong to the same group. Well, now, using, uh, using a butterfly net, you might think they were insects. <laughs> <laughs> well, a butterfly net is good for a lot of things besides insects. We used him to, it to catch that bat there. Now, uh, bats do have sharp teeth, so I didn't want to grab hold of him and get bitten. So we put him in that jar, and uh, we could look at him a lot better in the jar than, uh, than we could otherwise, too, you see. Uh, he, he didn't like it very much in that jar, and we'd wakened him up from a sound sleep, so he was a little bit groggy, too. But you can see there how similar they are to uh, mice and uh, some of the other small animals. You see it has four legs, or appears to be four legs, well, those four legs have uh, a thin um, skin stretched between them, so that uh, those, that forms the wing. Isn't that something? You can see there quite well the, the little hook that's on the, uh, the one on each of the front wings, or the front feet. Well, those, uh, those hooks uh, are uh, not big enough, apparently, to, for a bat to hang uh, very easily from a ceiling or a twig or something, so that per perhaps that's the reason they use their hind feet. See, there are five uh, toes or fingers on the, each hind foot, which are quite strong. And you see the web is stretched between each of the legs and uh, to the, uh, even to the tail, which seems to be quite long and stiff. Look what big ears he has. Well, the bat has to have big ears. Apparently, uh, they're very necessary for the bat to uh, use when they're getting around and they're flying at night. We'll uh, get to that a little bit later. I have something here I want to show you about those ears after a while. Well, it's not a, it's not a pretty bird or a pretty animal, is it? <laughs> pretty animal. <laughs> <laughs> no, they really aren't pretty. Uh, here is this a real bat? This is a real bat, although it's, it's a, a dry one. It's not alive, dried up. But you can see there, there are some, uh, some things uh, that are interesting. You see that nice soft fur, very soft fur. He does look like a mouse. Well, in a way, yes, and the big ears. And uh, you see here are the hind claws that uh, we talked about a little earlier, that there are five of them, and they're very strong, so that they can hang upside down on uh, the cave ceilings or wherever it is they're, they happen to be hanging, and on the, the ceiling of that hallway. And this is the tail, although it's sort of curved under and the webbing stretched between. Now, that's very thin skin on those wings. It's 
pushes down very easily, much like a, a loose uh, covering on a, on a drum, you know. How a drum has the, the skin stretched over it, well, that's much the way this is. And these legs, or wings, if you want to call them that, fold up, well, about like an accordion, you see. There are several sections there. Let's see, uh, these sections are all folded together like an accordion or, or like a, a, a Japanese fan. I see. Now, I have an, another uh, thing here that I think will show us a little bit more similarity between, uh, more likeness between animals and, and the bat. Uh, this, in fact, even looks like the skeleton of a human hand and arm. You see, these would correspond to the fingers. Uh, this is the thumb, and the webbing is strung between, uh, the skin is stretched between each of these so-called fingers and, and back over the, the arm. Wing. And that makes the wing, yes. It's, uh, it's entirely different than a, than a bird with feathers on its wing. And then this would be the, the forearm, and here's the elbow, you see. I and this see. is your upper arm. Isn't that interesting? And so they really are, well, like, like human hands. Yes, human they, re hands. they really are, uh-huh. They're uh, very beautifully put together. And actually, this type of a wing seems to help them fly better than birds can fly. It's more uh, flexible, maybe you should say. It, it bends easier. They can control their wing better than a bird can control its wing by tilting it or closing part of the fingers or something like that. Can they fly as fast as most birds? as fast and maybe even faster than many of the birds and they're much more uh, well they can dart here and there much better than birds can i see now uh, we were talking about them uh, being in caves in the spring when they come out of the cave why well, they come out just like uh, a puff of smoke uh, coming out of that cave in a, in a regular oh, cloud all at once them, uh -huh. aren't they? and that's the way they come out of the cave at night uh, even uh, well all summer long when it's time for them to start flying, why, uh, they come out all at once at the same time. And they uh, fly out and, and catch the insects and things that they eat. Uh, they, uh, well, now, that one uh, is a little bit, uh, I didn't intend to talk about that one quite as soon, but uh, this one, you see, I mentioned a little while ago those ears, those big ears, that I'd uh, tell you something about those. Uh -huh. Well, they fly by, uh, not using their sight, they don't miss objects by, with their sight, they miss it by uh, squeaking in a squeak that we can't hear. It's too high pitched. And this, the sound uh, goes out from the bat and bounces off whatever object it might be coming to, and then it bounces right back to the bat. And he hears uh, those sounds coming so that uh, he knows where the object is. It's, it works like the radar that our airplanes and our ships use now. Isn't that something? And he, he has it just naturally. Yes, uh-huh. I think really that's probably the way or the reason that uh, radar was eventually <laughs> developed, discovered, so? uh-huh. Now here's uh, uh, a bat that is, uh, has been catching his water, or getting his water from a lake. As he flew along, he, uh, he just sticks his tongue down into the water. They don't land uh, like a bird does on the edge of a lake or a, uh, a bird bath or something to get the water. They uh, uh, just skim over the surface and stick their long tongue down and lap up a couple of drops of water. And uh, they usually leave a whole string of circles behind them where they are lapping water, much like if you'd take a stone and throw it, uh, skip it on the surface of the lake, you know how, uh, how it leaves a string of circles behind it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the, the way it looks in the wake of a bat. And that's <laughs> the way the bat drinks. Yes, instead of uh, sitting down and doing it like you'd expect them to. Now this shows the bat catching its food. Uh, we said that they eat insects, and usually they catch those insects as they fly. The uh, moths and the mosquitoes and uh, beetles and things that fly around at night, the bats catch them while the insect is flying. They don't have to dive down to the ground or something like no, that? No, uh, well they can, I guess, catch grasshoppers and things right off the ground, but usually they catch them in the air so that the uh, uh, the bat's ability to dart quickly back and forth makes it easy for them to catch those insects. And of course, their ears help them there too, because the insect's wings usually buzz, mm -hmm. and uh, the bat can locate where the insect is in that way. Isn't that interesting? Now here's uh, a picture of a mother bat carrying its young. You know, I said that the young bats are born alive. They aren't from eggs. And for the first week or so, 
the mother bat has to carry this baby bat on its uh, breast all the time and never leaves it. Well, how and, does the baby uh, manage to stay there? Well, apparently it hooks its claws pretty tightly into the fur of the mother bat. And she even takes him out at night when she's going to catch insects. And it, uh, it gets its night air that way. I guess <laughs> it's still, instead of going in a baby buggy, <laughs> it, it gets its fresh air that way. Aren't bats strange animals, though? Well, they're strange and, and wonderful, too, well, really. Well, they certainly are. I think the business about bat radar is, is one of the most interesting things, though. The fact mm -hmm. that they can, they can hear these things. Yes. And, and just, just from the sounds bouncing back. It's, it's, really, okay? it's really wonderful the way, uh, way they're developed. But uh, I, I'm sorry, but I have another appointment. I'm going to have to run. I'm, I'm oh. awfully sorry. I always well. like to see what goes on over here <laughs> in the house with the magic window. Well, if you have to go, I guess we're just going to have to let you. So I'll go get your coat. OK. Oh, incidentally, I wanted to say one thing about these bats. Don't be afraid of bats. They're really a, an animal that is, is helpful. And when they dart around your head in the summer evenings, you know, they're not trying to get caught in your hair. They're uh, trying to catch the insects that are there, like mosquitoes, that might be feeding on you. So don't so be afraid of bats. So we should be glad to see them. That's right. All right, well, here's a coat. Thank you. And thank you for coming and telling us more about the different hibernating animals and even, for that matter, hibernating insects we've talked about, too, haven't we? <laughs> yes, we have. Now, have you got everything you need? I think so. All right, well, we'll see you again next Friday, Earl. Right. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Can you get the door? I think so. Isn't he interesting? He knows more wonderful things about animals and about insects. But I didn't know all of those things about bats, did you? That a bat isn't... Yes. Hello. They're calling again. Hi. I'm sorry. Why? I've been running all over and I can't find anything to make a wreath out of. Oh, well, there's no hurry about it. You can do it tomorrow sometime. What I want to know is where's hide mistletoe? <laughs> Debbie, <laughs> they lose back again. I can't find a missile to any place. It's not here or any place. I think that I, I think Domino may have taken it. Hmm. Because he, he was took it. Oh, well, that's he, the end of that. Domino, him. Domino. I think he's playing in the other room now. Oh, well, I'll come down. You know what? You have a piece of cotton right on your nose. I was wondering. It would make me sneeze. I was... <laughs> <laughs> couldn't, uh, couldn't you use just any old twig if the uh, thoughts? The same? Oh no, it's not the same at all. It has, it has to, to be, be mistletoe. Uh -huh. It's custom, you know. Oh. You just, you just want to do that we'll kissing again, some. Debbie. <laughs> That's all. He got to, he got to like the kissing. You know. Oh, he did. Well, that. Uh, I'm just an old Casanova who loves his kisses. <laughs> oh well, we won't worry about that. Betty Lou, we'll find you some more mistletoe. Would so you fix we? my hair for me? Oh, I'm please. sorry. Yes. Excuse me. I, I could. You do have trouble with it, don't you? Well, I get so busy, and I was looking for, for some pine to make a wreath and everything, and I got all muscles. I think I'll get you a comb for Christmas, you know? I That's couldn't it. use it. Well, how about a brush? He can't use that either because I could use feet. it. If I nailed it on the wall, That's I could it. come and I could rub against it. We can have a big invention or something. And uh, what should we call it? Uh, 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 well, I don't know. Oh, uh, I know. We can call it a unicomb. A unicorn. Very good, very good. Yeah, I will just hang up there, and uh, all you got to do is rub underneath it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Aren't you going to get your horn caught in it? Uh. No. Uh-uh. Well, how not? Well, I'd be very careful. Oh, I see. I was trying to think how you do it with the horn sticking well, up there. I just do one side, and then I do the other side. Well, this cotton snow here is pretty soft. Is that comfortable? Maybe, maybe we can just leave it here for just a day. Right? <laughs> you better take your nap, Deputy. I could just sleep all day on that. It's about your nap time anyway, don't you think? Nap, schmap. It's too close to Christmas. Oh, that has nothing to do with it, but I do think that it's a little late in the afternoon. Yeah. Because oh, speaking of Christmas. Me. What? Uh, Deputy. Let, let's go see uh, uh, Noel. Oh, that's the right. The hotel in the fireplace. That's right. Well, you know, I was over there trying to talk to him before, but he won't answer me when you're not there. Oh, that's too bad. Well, it's all right as long as you're there now. So why don't we go see him? Maybe you have a Christmas list ready. Let's go, Deputy. Yeah. Go. I'll I'll my Christmas list. Shall we go see Noel then? I, as I told you, I tried to talk to him a little bit earlier, but he just won't say anything unless Dusty's there to say the magic spell. I guess that's because he's so magic too. But. You know, he lives in the kettle, but you can't see anything in it. There's just nothing there, and then all of a sudden, there he is. Hi. It's no use. Here's my Christmas list. <laughs> oh, such a long one. Yes. Oh. It goes on for hours, just hours. Of course, it's what oh. I want, you understand. 
Oh, Deputy, for heaven's sake. Debbie, what? did you put down what I wanted? Well, I have a few things at the bottom there or something. <laughs> you see okay, that? Did you make sure the magic kit is in there? I can see the... Oh, you mean? No, there isn't a magic kit. I, I don't, don't see, see any magic kit. Oh. Let's see, a new one. Uh, you'll have to make out your own shoes. list. Uh, Will you a new rake. Uh, oh, the, oh, he'll never be able to get you all of these things, really. Well, we'll take us something. <laughs> well, I'll hold it up and we'll give it to him, all right? Okay. You want to say the magic word so we can see him? <laughs> all right, you ready? Right, I'm ready. You have to help, too, now, because you remember that Christmas elves are Let's very magic here already. and rely on imagination. No, he's not here yet. All right. All right, ready? Abracadabra, grab a hold of your ear. The elves that are must now appear. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, hello. 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 Hi, Noel. Hi, how are you? Just We're fine. just fine. How are you? Oh, busy, 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 busy. Always busy, busy. Gee. What are you doing? Well, oh, I just forgot something. I'll be right back. Dom, no. <laughs> Give him a list. Give him a list. Quick, oh, I'm sorry. Give him a list. Sorry. He's all terrible. Right. Busy, right. you know. Right. Benny oh, Lou. Yes. Help me. Oh. Oh, more oh. mail. Oh, more Jeez, Christmas God, cards. Oh, that no, no, look. That is a mail for today. Card. Yes. Oh, aren't they nice? Careful, oh, we're not going to get the Christmas cards. No, down, no, right? no. No playing. Be good. We're here on business, you see. No, so boy. You sit, sit down. down. You sit, sit down. down. That's a good boy. Sit down. Thank you very much, Noel. Thank you. And there are so many of them today. Oh, oh just, heavens. Just, just noodles and noodles and noodles. Well, I don't know. We'll have to look at those later. Just a second. Gee, Mr. Noel. How many days are left till, till Christmas? How many days? Yeah. Well, you know... It's hard uh, for him to count, I think, because he's so busy. One day runs into the next. You're right. Yeah. You're, you're very right. Because I, 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 I just don't know Christmas. from one day to another what I'm going to be doing. And, That's well, you know, it's just it's so busy all the time. Yeah. Noel, I have something for you here from Deputy Duck. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you'll think of it. It's a little bit long, but... It's a Christmas list. I told you, you shouldn't have made oh. it. Oh! All of that a Christmas list? Yes, all of it. All, all for Deputy it. Duck himself? Well, there are a few things on there for Dusty. What do you want, Dusty? Well, not very much. Most of all, I, I would like... like I can't to, see Betty Lou. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. There. Thank you. Is that better? That's fine. Thank you. Mr. Noel. Would, would you ask Santa Claus, I can't write it down because I can't write. Would you ask him yourself, please? For ask what? what? Just one thing I want. I want a, a Merry Christmas. Oh, a Merry Christmas. That's all you a want? A Merry Christmas for everybody? Well, yeah, for everybody, mostly. I want everybody to have a Merry Christmas. Well, that's I'm a, sure that that's what we all want. Because I never had a, a, a awful Christmas like you have in, in the Magic Forest. We don't have, uh, we just, well, it's kind of... It's different. Oh, well, we're so glad to have you here. And well, I want a Merry Christmas window. for everybody. Oh, that's fine. Very, very sweet. Deputy and, and Domino and, and you and, and Roy on Red and, and everybody. Everybody at all. <laughs> hey. Everybody a Merry Christmas. Well, this right? is the way to get Deputy a Merry Christmas. So here's the list, Noel. Do you, well, you need an envelope for that? I can handle it. Okay. I, can, I think. All right, well, here. You, sure, I, uh, you know where it goes. Uh, don't, I mean, if you need an address <laughs> on there, knows, I don't want to think of goof or anything. No, of course he won't. Oh, of course goof. he won't. But he's one of Santa's elves, you know. Oh, and I guess he knows his way then. don't make mistakes. Huh? Oh. No, Al, you know, I was feeling so sorry. Uh, Earl Ron was here just a few minutes ago, you know. Yes. And he was telling us all about bats and everything, and I was wishing so much that you'd been here. Well, I was. Were you listening? Yes, I was oh, here, didn't but you know. didn't know it. He's very magic, you know. And, and yes, you know? Yes. What? I, I, I have a gift, or, or a kind of a, oh, well, kind of a puzzle, you might say. And it just fits in with what he was talking it's about. It's one of those things. Uh, just, a, just a minute, I'll get it. All right. He, he, he just has wonderful things. He's almost as good as Santa Claus. He has all, all, all sorts of wonderful things. Do you like puzzles? Yes. Do you I like really, them? Do you, I think they're a lot of fun. You bet I do. I, I remember working my crossword puzzle. It took me four hours, four solid hours. Uh, it was only three over and two down, and, and uh, the logarithm of, uh, uh, here it comes. You know, Can you get I it? had a terrible time bringing this along. Oh, Because it's, it's, it's in a package, and it's so big that... Good well, heaven. What is it? Gee. It's a puzzle. Is that all you're going to tell us? Well, why don't you see if you can't put it together? Yeah. Doesn't rattle. We take the things out of the inside and then put them together? That's right. All right. We'll try it, won't we? Yeah. Shall we see what kind of Let's a puzzle Let's see what it is. is. Is it a toy? 
When we get it all finished, is it something like a toy? Well, something like a toy, yes. You may have to move, Domino. We may use the floor. All right, well, we'll have to... Well, why don't we use Domino. the table? It's a little bit easier to work if we use the table. Oh, heck, I was going to see if he'd run out, but he didn't. <laughs> just lays there. I think he's getting lazy well, these he's days. Well, he's just sleepy, that's all. Oh, now, he didn't take his nap this afternoon. You see, that's what happens if you don't take your nap. Yeah, you get I told you. Don't take your nap, get sleepy. <laughs> well, Noel, uh, thank you very much for bringing this, and we'll see if we can put it together. All right. Oh, I'm sure you can put it together. All right, well, we'll see anyway. All right. We'll you know, it I, I, I'm going, I'm, I've, I've got to go now because I'm just so busy. In fact, I didn't think I'd even be here today. Well, we're so glad that you were. And if there's anything we can do to help you, you let us know. All righty. Bye. 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 Oh. oh, did you see? He didn't disappear completely that time. There was a little point of his cap. Yeah. But you know what? Let's go see if we can put this together. Okay. okay. Let's see what I kind don't of know puzzle what it is. is. Do you think, uh, should I get the scissors or something? I'll bet it's, well, a, I'll bet it's a ship. We might. Well, we should we'll be see. prepared for anything. Well, I'll get the scissors. He, it reminded him, he was reminded of it when, hmm? when I mentioned Earl Ron. Maybe it has something to do with fat. Okay, or with right. Earl Ron. So let's go to the table and see what kind of a puzzle Noel brought us. And we'll have to put the Christmas cards down so we can look at those a little bit later. Let's see what the puzzle... Where are the scissors? Let's see what the That's pieces of the puzzle are. I can hardly wait. Yeah. Open it, open it, open it. Hurry, hurry. Oh, it's a bat. It's exciting. Where do you have these things? It's a bat. Oh. It's a yeah, bat made out of construction paper. Made out of what? It's a real bat. Construction paper. Construction paper. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Let's see. You're going to have to watch closely so that you can make one of your own. Because, of course, we have all the pieces. Well, two balloons uh -huh. and two pipe cleaners. Uh -huh. Let's see if there's anything else. Gee, no, no, there's a penny. It's a lot of fun. Bob is going to have to put it together. <laughs> why don't you see if, if there's anything else in there? Deputy, why don't you look and see if you can find okay. anything else? Well, now what do you suppose we do with all of these things? Oh, oh, slide them together. Oh, 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 oh. You know, I bet I know. Oh, I'll bet I know what we're saying. Oh, deputy, he's having trouble. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It fell right off on me. Oh, you couldn't find anything else in there. Couldn't see a thing. Oh, I. You know, know what I thought we needed? What? I'll bet you put the balloons on the on the back. I'll bet so too. At least I'll bet you put one of them on. Maybe he gave us one in case we broke the other. Yeah. The I'll bet we can make it? a flying bat. I'll bet we can. You want to see how? A like bat? You. I'll bet. Try it. Just wait. Try All right, it. now let's see. Now, here's the bat. Well, now, if you want to make one of these at home, then you'd better look and see how the bat's made. You see, it's just one piece of construction paper. And here oh, are the dude. little bat's pointy ears. And here are the wings that come out. Yeah. See? And the little zigzags in the wings. You remember where uh, Earl said the fingers came? Yeah. And then here is the bat's tail. Well, now let's try blowing up the balloon. Let's blow up a balloon. Good luck. Need some help? Oh. You did it! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the balloons are a little you hard to do that, Debbie. You, you, you blow off a gun. Uh-oh. Domino oh, doesn't like balloons. Boom, Domino. Domino. You want to blow it up? All right, now, you want to blow let's up? take the balloon and let's take some cellophane tape. Now, he didn't give us cellophane tape, but I think that's all right if we use it anyway. Yeah. And let's take a piece like this, and let's roll it into a circle. Oh, yeah. You ever done that? To hold the balloon on, because, well, we can't staple it on, and we can't glue it on the bat, but if we make a little roll out of cellophane tape, then we can just stick it to the bat, yeah. like this, uh -huh. and then we can put the balloon on it and press it down. Oh, gee. See? Just like that. Now, why don't you hold the end of the balloon, Dusty? Like that. But you know what I think? Now, I don't know whether this is the kind of toy that Noel had in mind. Can you hold it? Mm-hmm. Good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there, now hang on. Mm -hmm. Don't I take off. I think that these, were to, the, the pipe cleaners, were to be used for a grip, a hand grip. But I think there should have been a piece of thread in there. Will you look again and see if there isn't a piece of thread in there? Because, oh, now, if this is the right way to solve the puzzle, there's a piece of thread in there. So let's make a hand grip out of this. Let's twirl these together, just like this, and make a nice, sturdy grip. And then let's take these two ends and fasten them together so it will have something to hang on to. This is so the bat can't fly away. Because you're going to see it's going to fly all by itself. I couldn't find any any place. If you will look, you have it draped around your head. Where? 
<laughs> there. Oh, how did that go? <laughs> now, go see, I was right. I thought there'd be a piece of yeah. string in there. All right, now let's tie the piece of string to the hand grip. Not the thread. Like that. And then let's take some cellophane tape and fasten it to one of the wings so that we can control it. Mm -hmm. Like this. And then did you see the penny that was in there? Mm -mm. Well, let's put the penny... Oh, my! You can't take it out of your mouth, can you? Mm -mm. All right, let's fasten the penny to the this other... This is the way. quietest he's been in years. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now... Mm -mm. Now, everybody stand back. Mm -mm. Don't let go yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand up. Mm -hmm. And here now, let me take it. Mm -hmm. And I bet that our bat will fly. Mm -hmm. All right, now, here mm -hmm. we go. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Now, the trick watch is it, watch just it. to let go of the balloon. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Play like a real bat. I think that's a lot of fun. But do you want to take this with you when you go to play? Yeah, let's go play with All it. All right, fine, okay. because you know where we have to go? We have to go see Rhode Island Red. Fine. So are you ready to say the magic words? All right, and we'll see you later. Okay, good luck. Bye. Here we go. Magic house, hear what I've said. Let's go visit Rhode Island Red. Sit down. Hi, Tad. How are you? Oh, they're just oh, fine. Oh, they're pretty good today. Oh, they are. We've been doing the most interesting uh, things this afternoon. What have you been doing? Well, we've been talking with Earl Ron about bats. Yeah? And, well, Noel had a toy well, I'm for I'm sorry. Him. Excuse me. He doesn't like guns. Well, I'm sorry. This is not a real gun, you know. I didn't even ask you what you were doing with no, it. No, it's, it's not a real gun. It, although it looks like one, doesn't it? Uh, it see, really you've got, you got bullets that you take out. You take they go in just like a just like a real frontier model 45 Colt or, or Colt revolver. For heaven's sake! Yeah. I thought it was a real gun when I first nope. looked at and, it. And I tell you, you get these here little cartridges and you take them apart like that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and and you put a cap right in there. You see? Oh, I see. Just like that. Now, Domino, the and rest you, of us can't You get see down. You I'm going to show it to her here. And and then you and then you <laughs> put the put the bullets back in just like this. He doesn't like guns. Now, Domino, no, no, Rhode Island Red. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun. No, you know he doesn't like balloons either. He doesn't like no. them. Problem is the loud noise hurts his ears. Well, I think that it. must be it. No, here, uh, you can take a look. Here now. <laughs> no, no, Domino. You just sit down here and be quiet, yes. Yes. Oh. What do you think of that? Oh, that's a beauty, isn't it? That's oh, a regular and size and everything. Oh, oh. careful there. Oh, Don't. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, it makes me kind of nervous to uh, have you pointing it at me, you know. Well, it isn't a real job. No, I know it, but you... Well, it just makes me... Here, now, you sit no, down no, and be no, quiet. No. You sit down there. Now, sit you down. see, he's, he's scolding me. He's well, scolding he's, me he's, for, for pointing the gun at you, and I'm sorry. I suppose he's kind of mad, too, because he come over this morning to help me with my chores, and, well, I, I wasn't up yet, and, and I heard him out there scratching on the door, and I just didn't feel no, like no, getting no. out of bed. No, no. And, well, I suppose he's kind of angry about that. No, no he just doesn't I, like people handling guns. Well, the reason... He's, that's a good idea, I'll tell you. The reason I was kind of itchy about your pointing at me is on account of, you know what, uh, folks get hurt with uh, playing or fooling around with guns. And even though that looks like a real one, well, you want to make sure that it's uh, just a just a play gun, mm -hmm. uh, just Why a cap gun on account of if it were a real one. You never want to touch a real one. No, sir. Oh, no, you, you don't, you don't play with gun. real guns. No, sir. And the fella told me once, he said, you don't ever point a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill them. And that's what he said. Well, I don't think just that's a very nice thing to do. Just fooling, even. He said, well, what he means, then, is that you never point a gun at anybody. Never. Never do. No, sir. Unless, uh, unless you're in a war or something like that, and then you really intend to. But he said, you don't even fool them or nothing on account of you don't know if it's loaded or not. And well, he said, and this is a good thing to remember with Christmas coming on, too, oh, isn't it? Because yeah. a lot of you will be getting guns for Christmas. and, and You know something? Yeah. I think that, that play guns is a good idea. On account of you can fool around with a play gun like that and just... Just uh, fool around. You can you can shoot all you want, shoot your caps off and everything. Just have a lot of fun. 
on account of, but you, on account of you don't have to fool with real guns. You know, my daddy used to tell me back in the old days that uh, the reason so many of them fellers got in trouble, now you take even uh, old fellers like uh, Wild Bill Hickok, Wild Earth, fellers like that, and there's a feller named Bill Dalton. Mm -hmm. uh, he's one feller, he got in uh, kind of trouble. He's a nice feller, a good feller, is what my daddy told me, and uh, a real honest and everything, but he got in a shooting scrape. And my daddy always said that them fellows wouldn't have gotten near as much trouble if they hadn't been a toting guns. Well, that's true, of course. Well, I think it's right. They'll call the count if they had them guns right handy. And first thing you know, somebody got shot. And then there's a terrible ruckus, and there's outlaws, and, and they had to run away, and the sheriff had to go after them, and everything like that. And, and it'd have been a lot better if uh, folks hadn't to had them guns. Of course, now they did need them, I suppose. Well, they needed them for hunting and, and things because they didn't have yeah. a lot of a lot of and those engines things that we used too. You know. mm -hmm. The engines was uh, well, the engines they didn't understand what the white folks was trying to do, and and the white folks didn't understand the engines' problems, and well, well they'd they, get in terrible mix up and there'd be an argument, and first thing you know, just just like the the, the sheriff and everything, somebody would get hurt, and then there'd be a war. on. Well, you know, you, you've always been one of the staunchest supporters of the Indians in those Indian wars. Well, I think that uh, a lot of times, uh, what, uh, I used to hear from the old fellers back home in Arizona that uh, the Indians, they didn't get a very good shake. They was here for where we was, and uh, we just kind of moved them out, you know, and they did it. We took their land and, went and uh, built railroads so the buffaloes or the reindeers or nothing like that could come around. And, and there wasn't no hunting. Well, you can't blame them for being a little angered, everybody. No, I think that's right. I think that's right. Of course, uh, there's a lot of fellers that, that come through them times, and they stayed good fellers all the time. Say, I didn't tell you. What? I got a letter uh, just yesterday. I, you was down here yesterday, and I forgot to tell you. Miss Martha got a letter from Gaspin Head. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Got a letter from the Lazy Five. You know, and I always kind of thought, uh, well, I'd... I'd Spoke to Miss Martha about going back for Christmas, back to the ranch, and seeing how fellers is doing, you know, since uh, her and me been up here on the farm for, oh, how long has it been now? About four or well, five months. Well, you've been here about four months now. Yeah. Well, uh, we got this letter, and Gaspin Ed thinks it's going fine, and all the fellers signed up, Beans, and Yosemite Pete, and, and Gaspin Ed, and, and old Zeke Haskell, and Zeb Haskell, his boy, and, and oh, I uh, think that's wonderful Dirty well, Luke, and everybody like that was uh, there. Dirty Luke? Oh, well, yeah, he was there. Oh, I thought the Dirty Luke couldn't be found anymore. Well, that's just... Have you ever heard the story about Dirty Luke? Did no, I didn't tell you know. about that? I didn't know Dirty Luke, but Rhode Island Red knew him. Oh, well... well what's he doing signing a letter? Well, that's just more or less a story that we always tell about him whenever he ain't around or nothing. You know, sometimes the, uh, the dudes always come out on Saturday to the ranch and rode the horseback and everything, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, they'd get that. We'd kind of get to fooling them, telling them fun stories, you know, kind of get the fun out of them. Uh-huh. Uh, we used to tell them they'd meet uh, Dirty Luke one weekend, you know, and uh, he's a nice feller. We just kind of hung that name on him on account of one time he fell in the hog waller and got all dirty, and we just called him Dirty Luke. But uh, we had this here name for him, you see. Folks used to meet him, and then about the next weekend, while they'd come out, and they'd say, where's this other feller, Dirty Luke? And we'd say, well, a funny thing happened. During the week, why, you know, Dirty Luke, uh, we call him that on account of he ain't none too clean. He kind of kind of don't like to take a bath. And uh, so, middle of the week, while Yosemite Pete and Gaspin Ed, they decided they was going to give him a bath. So they got a big tub of hot water and they took it into the bunkhouse there and filled it up with hot soapy water and soap and everything. And, and then they uh, they grabbed old Dirty Luke and they throwed him in the tub and they commenced to scrub him with lice soap and brushes, you know. And they talking and the scrubbing and just a chewing the rag and a scrubbing away on him there, holding him down to gentle him up a little bit. <laughs> well, sir, uh, they kept the scrubbing at him, a scrubbing at him, and pretty soon Gaspin Ed went down and he fell around the water and he couldn't find nothing, not a thing. So they carried the tub out in the out in the yard there by the corral and they dumped it out and all that ever came out was muddy water. And, and that's all they ever found. And dirty where Luke. is Dirty Luke? Well, he's still there, you know. I, like I said, that's just a story we used to tell the dudes, you know. <laughs> I think that's a wonderful story. Kind of fun at him a little bit. <laughs> I'll you know, teach you to take a bath. <laughs> you remember me telling about uh, the time we had that old dried up oil well and we pulled it up and cut it up to post holes? Mm -hmm, and I brought remember. brought it up here and uh, sold them for uh, post holes, you know, up to fellers up here? I don't know whether they've heard the story or not. Well, uh, <laughs> it kind of backfired on me on a kind of, oh, it was about last Monday, I suppose, something like that. Feller come around out here. I was out there working around out in the barn and uh, seeing how that corn we got stored out there is doing, you know. I'm just uh, uh -huh. finding out about some of these things about farming. 
And uh, this fella come out and he tried to sell me some post holes. Oh, that well, serves you right, Yeah, Royal, it's a good thing right. I know about <laughs> these kind of things. On the kind of, he's trying to sell me. He said he had a whole load of post holes he's trying to sell me. He said, mm -hmm. uh, good real good ones, they imported them from Arizona. And I'll just bet you that he got that there story from somebody <laughs> told him, and I started it all, you know. And it's all your fault. Yeah, I suppose Oh, it. you and your tall tales. Really, now, sometime they are going to get you in trouble. Well, I don't know. I, I don't ever try to tell folks that they're true. Because uh, that's just as bad as telling a lie when you tell some folks that uh, something like that's true. It's just kind of a fun story, you know, and, and well, I just like to tell them. I well, and, and we, we know that it's fun. Well, sure, <laughs> sure. I'm sure the tads don't believe it. You don't believe it, do you? No, I didn't no. think you did. Shut but up. they're fun to listen to. Sure. And which reminds me, it's just about time for us to go, but we'll be coming back on Monday to hear some more stories. Well, why don't you? And I'll All tell right. you a story about Johnny Mac Brown or something like that. All right, fine, now. Here's your gun. All right. Uh, that's now, a, don't shoot anybody with I it. Got, uh, I borrowed that from a fella who runs a toy shop in town, and he oh. loaned it to me. I just well, kind of playing with it, you know. Well, I, like I hope the little boy likes it for Christmas. Well, we'll sure. see you Monday, Rhode Island. Okay, Jack. Bye. stop by. Join Betty Lou again Monday at 4 o'clock for another visit through the Magic Window. Portions of the Magic Window were on film. <laughs>